Oh, I need some music. All right. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, welcome back to my channel. It's great uh, having you back again. Today, I actually have another steaming pile of artsy goodness for you, or I will once I get this done. Uh, you know, it's Inktober, and uh, I'm very good at starting Inktober, and I'm very good at not finishing Inktober. So, um, you know, I just do what I can do. So today, uh, I thought I would do the first day of Inktober, and the theme of it is fish. And so uh, I'm going to do a fish theme, and as you can see, I'm working on my Strathmore Bristol board. Uh, this is nice and uh, heavyweight. It's good for pen and ink. You can do some light washes on it, um, but uh, you know, no heavy, uh, no heavy watercolor. It's just not built for that. And uh, today, I'm going to be working with my um, two different pens here. This is my waterproof Uniball Vision. Uh, which is absolutely waterproof. And then this is uh, my, I think this is a uh, Moon Man. Yeah. Uh, and I've never used it before, so I thought I'd ink it up and uh, we'll give it a try. But um, the ink that I'm using today is my Noodler's Polar Blue. And this is the color of it right here. It's a nice soft blue. And that, along with the black, is going to give us a, a nice uh, kind of two-color drawing. All right. And, uh, you know, I used, to do <laughs> I used to do a lot of ink drawings back in my illustration days, but I haven't done so many lately. So uh, you and I are going to go through this together, and we're going to see how it goes. But if it goes horribly, uh, who knows? I may not uh, post it, but you know, it's important for everybody to know not every drawing uh, works, not every painting works, and they don't all get hit out of the park. So uh, let me just move everything out of the way and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, my fish, let me see if I've got a printout over here. Hold on a second. Okay. Here we go. This is the, um, the photo reference that I've got. Um, when I was growing up, when I was a kid, I loved this movie, uh, The Incredible Mr. Limpet, where Don Knotts played a, uh, I don't know if he was a marine biologist, someone who, who loved fish. And uh, he just thought that they, they had the best life ever. And he falls into the water and magically turns into an animated fish. Actually ends up working with the War Department to, uh, to help uh, win the war. So anyways, this is what I'm going to go ahead and do. If you haven't seen this movie, go ahead and check it out. I, I haven't seen it since I was a kid, so it may suck. <laughs> That's usually how it goes. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started on this. It has been a while. Before I start out with the blue, let me go ahead and start out with this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do, uh, I guess, what I call kind of a scribble sketch. And... Uh, Keep everything light and loose and carefree and and uh, you know not too uh, not too realistic. This is more of a fun um, illustration, anyways. So let's keep it kind of lighthearted and scribbly. So and uh, when I start, let's start in an area that's you know not terribly terribly important. So. Let's keep my photo reference here. And especially along the hairline, even though it's, 
even though this hairline is you know pretty straight it's a it's a softer look so you can get away with kind of scribbling it along here the Incredible Mr. Limpet was released in 1964 and stars, of course, Don Knotts. Don had won Emmys for Best Supporting Actor in 1961, 62, and 63 for Deputy Barney Fife on The Andy Griffith Show, and Warner Brothers thought they'd give him a shot at his first leading role in 1964. Don plays Mr. Henry Limpet, a meek bookkeeper living in Flatbush, Brooklyn, with his nagging wife. Set just before the start of World War II, Limpet is a 4F, which means he can't go fight in the war, and his passion is fish. He loves them and thinks they lead wonderful lives. In fact, he wishes nothing more than to be a fish. Well, inexplicably, and only in the movies, he gets his wish. Along the way, he meets Krusty the Hermit Crab, has lots of adventures, and discovers he might just be able to help the Navy win the war. It's a really cute movie, and Don Knotts doesn't play that Barney Fife, nervous, overbearing character we know him for. He's much more of a meek and mild man, and he's even more likable as a fish. So if you get a chance, give it a watch. You may just like it. And if you've already seen it, let me know what you think of it down in the, in the comments below. And what's your favorite fish movie? I mean, could be Jaws, maybe it's Finding Nemo, or ooh, how about Sharknado? Yeah, that's a classic. For now, I'm keeping my lines pretty thin. But once you get to the outline, you can, uh, you can put that in heavier if you want to. I usually kind of wait to go back in and do that until after I have most of this other stuff done. Scribble this in. So not only am I looking at the values uh, from the original uh, photo, but I'm also trying to ask myself, you know, what do I want to be calling your attention? I think uh, I do want to have some scribbling in here, but I don't want it to be all the way across. So as we get to the edges, we can darken it up. And then since the light is coming from this side, we can do the same thing, just don't bring it over quite as far. Always be mindful of where your light source is coming from. If you do that, it'll keep you out of a lot of trouble. The truth is, doing one of these is fun, but to get better, you really have to do a lot of them over and over and over again. And every single time that you do one, you're building on what you knew from the last one and the one before that. And before you know it, you're producing things that aren't too shabby and that you're happy to show your family. But don't expect too much at the beginning. Be patient with yourself. You know, I think since Mr. Limpet here uh, turns into a fish, we should give him some bubbles. Yeah. Not something I plan to do, but I thought it's kind of a fun idea. As I draw, I'm always thinking, trying to make things better. Okay, you know, I, I'm not sure that I want to do the blue ink over the top of it. So what I have here is a zebra, zebra pen. I'll write the exact name of this in the description. But um, it's a waterproof pen and it has a flexible nib on it. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put a little heavier outline around him. Fill in some of the hair here. 
From the number one station, this is a story about love. A love story. <laughs> music is love. And love is music. Stop dancing. Put your clothes back on, just for a moment. I decided to do this next part. Rather than scan it in and work digitally, I'm going to do kind of a marker comp. I love these brushes. These are um, Tombow dual brush pens. They come from, uh, obviously, Tombow. But the interesting thing about them is that they're blendable, and they go from uh, a blender from very light all the way down to, uh, to black. And uh, that's the blender right here. There is no tone to the blender. You just use it to blend between shades. And then this is the very dark gray. And the, the wonderful thing about these brushes, besides the fact that they're blendable, which means that you can take and use the blender on them, but they're a dual brush. They've got this pointy nib here. And then on the other side, it's a wonderful brush nib, uh, kind of a sponge nib. And so uh, that's what I'm going to go ahead and, and do this with. Uh, this, uh, this should be kind of fun. So, oh, you can go back to dancing now. Just so you know, I'm not sponsored by Tombow. I just like their product. Chanting wherever on the sea Do you hear that? I know I wanna tell you Sing the song you could never be wrong the fire burning in you make me yeah, wanna yeah. sing Sing the song you could never be waiting for a sign Uh-uh Don't leave no stones unturned. The 
more you live is the more you learn. Love the life you live Cause music is mine to give Live and let others live And your place may be locked up Upon this land So there you have it. Uh, Maybe not the best likeness in the world, but hey, it's been a while since I've done one of these. And I had an absolute ball doing it. I sure hope you enjoyed watching. I'm going to do as much in Cobra as I can, and I hope you do too. It really helps out your your drawing skills. Anywho's, thank you for uh, joining me here today. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and subscribe or share or hit the like button. Any of those things help the channel. And uh, until I put out another steaming uh, pile of artsy goodness, keep living artfully, and I'll see you down the road.